Hi, welcome to Math Made Easy. Our topic for today is about percentage computation. I will teach you an easy way on how to compute percentage the easy way without using a calculator. Okay, let's start. First, what is the 12% of 100? First, we separate this 12% into two parts. First is 10% of 100, and the second is the 2% of 100, which is equals to 12%. Okay, now let's cancel one zero from 10% and one zero from 100. So we have 1 times 10. 1 times 10 is equals to 10. How about the 2% of 100? Uh, the decimal from 100, we move the two decimal places from right going to left. Okay, so what do we have? 2 times 1, which is equals to 2. And then we add these two numbers. We have 10 plus 2 is equals to 12. Therefore, the 12% of 100 is equals to 12. Okay, next. What is the 21% of 80? Again, we separate 21%, 20% of 80, and 1% of 80. Again, we cancel the 0 from 20% and 80. We have 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is 16. And then the 1% of 80, moving the decimal point of 80, two places from right to left, 1 and 2, so that is 0.8. Therefore, 1 times 0.8 is equals to 0.8. Adding these numbers, we have 16.8. So the 21% of 80 is equals to 16.8. Nice. Next, another example. What is the 51% of 70? Again, dividing 51% into two parts, 50% of 70 and 1% of 70. What is the 50% of 70? Canceling the 0 from 50% and the 0 from 70, we have 5 times 7, which is equals to 35. And then, moving the decimal point of 70 from right to left, two places, so 1, 2, so we have 0.7. So 1 times 0.7 is equals to 0.7. Adding these numbers, we have 35.7. Therefore, 51% of 70 is equals to 35.7. Easy? Next, another example. What is the 86% of 60? Again, dividing 86% into two parts, 80% of 60 and 6% of 60. Canceling the 0 from 80% and the 0 from 60, we have 8 times 6. 8 times 6 is equals to 48. And then, the 6% of 60, so the decimal point of 60, moving it to the left, two places, we have 0.6. Therefore, 6 times 0.6 is equals to 3.6. Adding these two numbers, we have 51.6. Therefore, the 86% of 60 is equals to 51.6. Okay, another example. What is the 44% of 50? Again, dividing 44% uh, into two parts, 40% of 50 
and 4% of 50. Cancelling the 0 from 40% and 50, we have 4 times 5, which is equal to 20. And the 4% of 50, where 50, we move the decimal point to the left 2 times. So we have 4 times 0.5, which is equals to 2. Adding these two numbers, we have 4, uh, we have 22. So the 44% of 50 is equals to 22. Okay. I hope it's easy. Again, uh, let's try new homework. Um, try to compute the percentage of these following numbers. Okay, first is 77% of 70, 43% of 90, and 65% of 100. Good luck, guys! Again, this is Teacher Gang, and I hope you learned from our lesson for today. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching!